Our second reading is taken from the post-synodal apostolic exhortation by Pope Francis, Querida Amazonia, to the beloved Amazon region. Chapter 3, from paragraph 56. Let us awaken our God-given aesthetic and contemplative sense that so often we let languish. Let us remember that if someone has not learned to stop and admire something beautiful, we should not be surprised if he or she treats everything as an object to be used and abused without scruple. On the other hand, if we enter into communion with the forest, our voices will easily blend with its own and become a prayer. As we rest in the shade of ancient eucalyptus, of an ancient eucalyptus, our prayer for light joins in the song of the eternal foliage. This interior conversion will enable us to weep for the Amazon region and to join in its cry to the Lord. Jesus said, Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. God, our Father, who created each being in the universe with infinite love, calls us to be his means for hearing the cry of the Amazon region. If we respond to this heart-rending plea, it will become clear that the creatures of the Amazon region are not forgotten by our Heavenly Father. For Christians, Jesus himself cries out to us from their midst, because the risen one is mysteriously holding them to himself and directing them towards fullness as their end. The very flowers of the field and the birds which his human eyes contemplated and admired are now imbued with his radiant presence. For all these reasons, we believers encounter in the Amazon region a theological locus, a space where God himself reveals himself and summons his sons and daughters. Here ends the second reading.